Hello and welcome my beautiful Capricorns. This is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of September the 2nd to the 8th. Jumping right in, your download message that you've been given is go for it. So this could be a week where there could be opportunities presenting themselves, situations that pop up out of the blue, and you may really get excited. It'll get your creative juices flowing. If there's a passion, if there's an idea, if there's a goal that you want to pursue, then go for it. Don't be afraid. This is a, a direct result uh, of positive energy um, you're going to receive if you do this. So this card is really good. So if I were you, I would go for it. Whatever that is. Now, serendipity comes in. And look at it's got this beautiful four-leaf clover, which means this is a card that says perhaps you're going to see some synchronicities. Perhaps you're going to... <clears throat> Um, you know, see things coming in that you're going to jump right into. It's opportunities that are allied with readiness and the awareness of synchronicity, luck and good fortune, and all kinds of signs and symbols that could be presenting themselves this week. You might be seeing signs, repeating numbers, repeating songs, repeating signs or, you know, videos, uh, anything that could be coming in or hearing the same sentences by different people. So you've stepped into alignment right, right now with the greater good and where your dreams and your collective dreams resonate and everything is starting to connect beautifully. But even in relationships, spirit has a plan and that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time. You have met or are about to meet someone virtually, you know, important in your journey somehow. So it's amazing how synchronicity does that, right? We say it's a coincidence. Nah, I don't think so. I think it's actually, uh, you know, a plan. And, you know, when it comes to our jobs and our careers and money and prosperity, we're in the right place at the right time when we receive this card. So be grateful for the stars are aligning in your favor. And fortune's going to smile down on you and victory and success are going to be yours. So the choices you've made in the past have prepared you for the opportunities coming into you now. So this is your lucky moment. This, the timing is perfect. So don't be afraid to go for something here. Now, with that comes the Three of Wands. And we know the Three of Wands is that card that says you're coming into your own now. It's beautiful. Stepping up into your place that you deserve to stand, waiting for your ship to come in. This is a beautiful card that says, you know, good things are on the horizon and have faith in your abilities. Look for those opportunities and think big. Because you're, you're, you're bound to achieve great success, my beautiful Capricorn. So trust what you, where you are exactly now and what you're supposed to be and, and know uh, that you have the strength and the power to see it through. So you're going for something this week. It's very evident, even starting off here in this reading at the beginning of the week in that energy. Now, coming in in your focus part, you've got purity. All right. You know, your back's being covered. Uh, you know, spirit and the divine are protecting you right now. Uh, it's a beautiful card that says you're moving forward in a beautiful direction. Don't you love how they have that white wolf there and the purity of white snow? So no matter what has happened in the past, Capricorn, everything can be a fresh and new beginning again. And how you look at things, right? You're, you're entering into a period of, of something really good. So simply open your heart and know that the best is yet to be. The past does not need to equal your future. Your future can be and will be, okay, bright and uplifting and promising. Let go of those old limiting patterns and those thoughts in your head, okay? You know, there's some reoccurring challenges. Let go of them too, okay? This is a time of redemption, forgiveness, and healing, moving forward with that comes this knight of pentacles now this knight of pentacles is fast moving action really really going after his goals um but oops no it's not it's the pentacles i'm thinking it's the i'm thinking it's the wands i apologize for that guys this is the slowest moving one the knight of pentacles makes detailed plans he doesn't go rushing in he doesn't make a, an a you know a, a, an abrupt uh, you know, turn around and go heading towards, you know, galloping towards something. He takes his time and he becomes out a winner because of it. So with this card of purity, I think you're coming into a space now, Capricorn, where you're going to be thinking long and hard about your future and what it is you want to do when you're going for something here that's really setting you up for good luck and, and, and positive energy. Think about what it is you want to do. Okay, this is this Knight of Pentacles. He, he always comes out a winner because he plans his move. This is a card that says, take your time, 
okay, to process a situation, even though you want to jump into it, take your time and make sure you've done the research. Now, in the center position, which is in the challenge position here, you've got the Bone Collector. Now, this is a very interesting card because the Bone Collector is all about you, um, you know, maybe tapping into a situation that you've done before. You might be thinking about something that you did in the past, okay? And you collect and you hold that information, right, in your mind. So the past has a way of repeating itself, right? If you do what you did then, you'll get what you've got now. Okay, so this is a card that says, even though you're taking your time here with this Knight of Pentacles, they want you to keep moving. Don't stick and stay in this. This reminds me of the hangman is what this card reminds me of. Uh, you know, hanging in limbo. But look at all the energy around her head. She's thinking. She's reassessing. She's processing. She's analyzing. And then she's going to go out there. She's collecting all that information all for her database. And then she's ready to go out there and hit the world, you know, running. The King of Pentacles comes in with that great card uh, of success in, in money and the material part of your life. This is a Midas Touch card. You're going to land on your feet, come up smelling like a rose. This is doors of opportunity that you need to go through confidently. But this could be somebody you're dealing with. Uh, you know, someone here in authority it could be the banker, or it could be the doctor, it could be the lawyer. You could be dealing with somebody in authority as well, uh, retaining uh, their counsel perhaps. Coming in next in your in your messages from Spirit, you've got illumination. So something hidden is coming to light now. You find out about new job, maybe a new job, opportunities and options. Someone lends you a helping hand. Okay, so you could be hearing about somebody. I mean, we got that Knight of Pentacles and then you get the Ten of Pentacles and that's really good abundance. So you might be getting leveling up in a new position, um, getting a different job title, maybe... Um, you're going into a new position at the job you're at, or you're going to be going and taking on a brand new job. But there's opportunities and doors of opportunity opening up that you're going to be thinking about getting involved in. And you're getting that go ahead, that, that green light to jump in and do it. So just go for it. Um, someone might be coming in with an idea, whether it's a job recruiter or somebody that you know, uh, or perhaps your boss or the CEO at the company or something like that is going to say, hey, um, we need you to step up. We want you to um, have a, a better position here and more authority whatever the case is i think you're going to see that something's going to come to light the ten of pentacles says wow okay abundance job security financial security um investment security happiness in your and peace and harmony within your home life and your family getting wise counsel to and seeing that your success is coming in wow now at the end of the week which is your possible outcome you've got a time for healing and there could be a situation where you you may need to step up and take care of business for yourself, okay? Perhaps you're getting over a situation. Um, it could be anything uh, that's brought you to this point. Some of you may actually physically be getting over some sor sort of illness. Maybe you've had a medical procedure uh, done and you're recuperating and recovering. Maybe you came down with the flu or whatever the case is. Or maybe emotionally you're dealing with inward healing, okay? So... For everybody, it could be a different thing, but go with it, okay? Allow yourself the time to heal. You have all the confidence. You have everything on your side here with this Queen of Wands. She is the most confident queen out there. She goes after what she wants. She doesn't allow anybody to distract her, to discourage her, or to talk her out of something. Um, you're going for something here, okay? And I think that you're going to find, by doing this move for yourself, you're going to find it a healing in itself, okay? Feeling so much better about a situation, with you, whether it's your job or your career or relationship, whatever the case is. The Queen of Wands is that queen who's totally oblivious. She always sits there depicted with a black cat at her feet. She doesn't see that cat. She has no fear. She's got everything she needs to go after her goals. She's cool, calm, and collected like her counterpart, you know, the King of Wands. He goes bigger, he goes home. She's learned well, but she's had to struggle and work harder for it. But now she's got the confidence with everything she needs to go after it and to go for it. Wow. Okay, so let's see what we have here for you, my beautiful Capricorns. Let's see what we have here for you. All right, I'm going to cut this. 
coming whoops coming in with you know the beginning of the week with that three of wands waiting for your ship to come in. You've got the Ace of Swords. So there's going to be clear and concise clarity now. You you get that aha moment, that light bulb moment where you go, mm, now I see the truth. Now I know what I need to know. It's victory. Okay, it's going, uh, it's, it's clearing the way for you to go after what it is you want. Beautiful. So victory here. Ace of Swords, beginning of something exciting and new coming in. You have the Death card with the Knight of of pentacles and this is telling me that something is going to come to an end conclusion perhaps it's the end of a work project maybe it's a contract uh maybe um it's the end of where you're living you're going to be moving on maybe it's the end of a friendship a relationship it could be anything okay but it gives you the opportunity now for a fresh start going after what you want and oh and and planning your move to do that now wow coming in with the king of pentacles beautiful card that card of of, you know, the Midas touch, everything working out in your favor. You've got that crazy Seven of Wands. Now, the Seven of Wands is that card that says you struggle with things, but you don't give up. Okay, this is a wounded warrior. Um, the reason you're getting ahead here is because you've collected all that information from the past that you needed to know. And you've used that as a tool to, to build up some strength to continue moving forward towards a goal here. You didn't give up no matter what the challenges were capricorn you got the backbone to go after it and this is why you're going to see this king of pentacles energy coming in because you didn't give up you stood your ground you defended your corner and you said no this is what i've deserved i did i've earned this i've created this this is mine and i'm standing by my word coming in with the ten of pentacles you have the two of pentacles so you could be juggling something here you could be juggling money from one account to another you could be juggling time you know, your home life, your your personal life with your career life. But this is about possibly time management where you may have to be sure you have everything in your calendar so that you can, while you're going for your goals here, you're staying on schedule, okay? You're, you're, um, you're in alignment and um, you're not going to waver off that path. Uh, you could also be considering making a choice or a decision of an opportunity there could be a decision there could be um you know some sort of opportunity coming in two decisions two choices two options that you may have to consider i wouldn't worry about it too much because you're going to make the right move okay coming in with that queen of wands your outcome card staying focused again going after what you want not allowing those doubters to change your mind you have the knight of pentacles again so definitely you're planning your move you're taking your time you're being very methodical and um you're processing something here for accuracy it's important to you capricorn this week that you do things right and you do things accurate that way you're not going to slip up and make a mistake and that's why when you get the knight of pentacles it says that don't go jumping in don't make any rash decisions don't uh, you know don't don't accept the first offer right away everything that glitters isn't always gold okay if it looks too good to be true it might be so process it think about it uh, get everything that you need to get in order for you to see uh, the truth and, and complete clarity here so there's no confusion well my beautiful beautiful capricorns this is your reading for this week and keep in mind it is a general not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single capricorn out there but some of it will so run with it and throw the rest into the universe i wish you a beautiful remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic healthy happy prosperous and successful week and always know i stand in this circle of love and light for you and i'll see you soon my beautiful capricorn